This is a running stitch. It is made when a needle is woven in and out of a piece of cloth, drawing a thread through the fabric. Almost any thread will work. Each stitch leaves a tiny footprint of the thread along a row. This stitch is used to quilt, baste, make seams, and embellish. We're going to talk about using a running stitch as top stitching. Here are two examples. Top stitching on a fabric with a pattern or print. And here, a short running stitch on velvet. Let's first talk about the vast variety of running stitches. They can be long, short, spaced with a short stitch separated by a longer space, or vice versa. The thread can match or contrast the fabric. From the surface, most running stitches look essentially the same, but let's look at a cross-section illustration to see how a running stitch serves a purpose. Here is a basic running stitch. It is knotted on the fabric's underside. It comes to the surface, the side you see when the garment is worn, and then weaves in and out of the fabric. The underside stitches may be the same length as the top stitches or not. In this case, the thread shows on both the right and wrong sides. Sometimes the thread doesn't go all the way through the underside. An edge usually contains and is slightly padded by the seam allowance. The running stitch top stitching acts as a support to prevent the layers from shifting and keeps the facing edge from extending beyond its proper place. In this case, the top stitching goes through the top layers without passing through the bottommost layer such as this. Make this running stitch the same way, but advance the needle forward before it goes through the bottommost layer. You can feel the needle move through the fabric as you take the stitch. The top stitching shows on the right side and not on the wrong side. The other important element of a good running stitch is spacing the stitches evenly. There are several ways to help keep your stitches even. Simplicity has a rotary marking tool called the Big Stitch Marking Wheel. It uses dressmaker's carbon to mark the fabric with a dashed line to follow as you stitch. It keeps your stitching row exactly the right distance from the edge and it provides a stitch length to follow. Another tip for sewing even stitches is to set up your sewing machine with contrasting thread and a long stitch setting. Machine stitch the row about 1 16th inch from the top stitching position. Then use the stitches as a gauge to follow for sewing the stitch length. You can also set the machine for a zigzag stitch, which is even easier to follow. When you have finished sewing the hand stitches, remove the machine basting to leave your perfect hand top stitching. 